You guys, it still has not hit me that I will be traveling by myself. Shit. <laughs> the day is actually finally here. I get to travel by myself and that in itself feels very freeing yet very scary. So here I am trying not to freak out. I have my tea. Um, I took a shower just so I could just relax a bit. I just know that whatever waits for me is beautiful and just life changing for sure. But damn, it's still so hard to... I can't believe the day's here because I still remember the day I bought my ticket. I was like, peace! I'm leaving. I'm doing this. It'll be life changing for sure. So I am just super excited to bring you guys along this whole journey with me. Most of my trip is going to require me to just go with the flow because I'm not that much of a planner and I have almost about two weeks and a half to do whatever I want so honestly within those two weeks anything just anything can happen <sighs> okay guys just get prepared to come on this journey with me and I I hope you guys really enjoy what Costa Rica has to offer even though I don't know what Costa Rica has to offer yet just yet so we're both in this together just wish me luck that's literally all I need, some luck and uh, a lot of good vibes. <sighs> Alright, let's get this day started. Yes! Arrived in Costa Rica! So, I'm just gonna open it, and then, there you go. Ow! Hey there you guys hi so I'm finally at my second Airbnb <gasps> it just started to rain what Dragon fruit. I'm craving a snack and I don't have anything else 
other than fruit, because your girl went ham yesterday at the farmer's market buying hella fruit. For whatever reason, there's no pans where I could heat up some water. We had to improvise and use this coffee maker. So, I'm pretty sure it'll still work uh, just about the same. I'm just gonna have to leave the ginger um, soaking a bit, but yeah, I'm just making some ginger tea. I ordered a cappuccino and I also ordered an empanada de piña so I know this is gonna smack because I didn't buy any groceries last night so I didn't have like you know I wasn't able to make any dinner and it is currently 10.56. I am freaking starving. <laughs> and I just realized that my shirt is backward. It's been a, it's been a long morning. just bought bread literally just like but she thought of me and she got me bread my heart Sun is shining so automatically you know it's gonna be a really good day the birds are chirping well actually they're always chirping
just got done eating. I'm waiting for my taxi to come and pick me up. But it is so hot and humid here. I, that's why I put on my freaking hat because it was like, my hair just looks like a hot mess right now. guys so i just got out the shower i just wanted to like talk to y'all for a bit because a bitch is feeling a little sad right now i don't know why it's my birthday you know i should be happy i should be like i guess thrilled that i'm that i'm turning a year older or whatever but I don't know it's just like i genuinely just feel so sad right now i don't know where it's coming from i have not felt like this the whole trip and the fact that i'm feeling like this is really like i don't like it i guess i'm just like a little homesick and i'm missing my friends and my family and just being out here by myself on my birthday is kind of like i guess hitting me i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm a little sad I'm just gonna blow through these feelings. Oh, and also, I forgot that I have a freaking face mask, yo. Was at Target buying last minute things. My birthday, so I think I might just use it today. Why not? So, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I'm just gonna have a night to myself, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, little guy, what's up? This was such a long freaking trip. I finally just arrived. I started my trip at seven in the morning, woke up at six so I could eat something really quickly at my last place and I headed out. So it literally was just such a long entire day of traveling, but I'm finally here and I'm just blessed that I'm here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and explore because this place is giving me all the vibes and I'm loving it. This is like my first hostel staying in an actual dorm. So let's see how that is, but I'm pretty sure I'll love it. This place is a freaking cute and aesthetic and I love aesthetic places. 5 a.m. and we found a swing on the beach. room of um in san jose i just want to take a moment to just say how freaking grateful i am that i actually pulled through and didn't cancel this trip because i was so close to canceling it costa rica is a must for anybody costa rica really just brings out true beauty of simpleness of just you don't need much to be happy. So for any female out there trying to travel by themselves, I definitely recommend it. It'll definitely change your perspective in life 
and it'll also make you trust yourself even more and you'll have a deeper connection with it within yourself i came on this trip with a mission to meet some soul sisters and I think I found uh, about three of them. My heart is very full. You're never really by yourself when you're traveling. You literally will meet amazing people along the way. Traveling alone is honestly really freaking dope. Creates this like just urge and passion and love for so many things. I just want you to know that you can do anything that you fucking want to do.